Whenever Nvidia comes with a new gaming tech, typically AMD also follows it. And this is how it has been in the past few years, when Nvidia announced ray tracing support for their GPUs, AMD did the same and when Nvidia announced their super sampling technique DLSS, AMD also came up with their own upscaling method called FSR. Well, even though these technologies are revolutionary, Nvidia still sucks with its mainstream GPUs and I don't think I need to mention the name of the GPU I am referring to. Well, that's a totally different story but today we have a few big updates which I will discuss in this video, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss such updates in the future. The first one is AMD's update on its Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 which reveals a crucial aspect of how it will work compared to the previous FSR versions. Even though we already knew from the latest GDC event that FSR 3 will bring frame interpolation, we didn't know how much frame generation AMD is trying to create here. But in the new leak which was reported by Twitter user Kepler, he pointed out that the latest GPU open driver document from AMD is containing two lines of code that explicitly state the frame generation intensity. According to the user, the frame generation rate ratio here is 4 which implies that FSR 3 is going to create up to 4 interpolated frames for every real frame in the games. This is very much different from Nvidia's DLSS 3 frame generation which can only produce one interpolation frame aka fake frame for each real frame in games. Through frame generation and upscaling method, Nvidia is able to reach 2 to 3 times higher FPS than without frame generation and looks like AMD is trying to quadruple that number by adding 4 fake frames in between each frame so that the users who are getting for example 30 FPS can achieve high FPS numbers like 120. Kepler further adds that FSR 3 is going to be a driver side feature and that means unlike FSR 1 and 2, FSR 3 won't be working on Nvidia GPUs. Well, that doesn't bother me much but what bothers me is how the frame interpolation in FSR 3 will affect the gameplay. Nvidia's own DLSS 3 frame generation is known for producing ghosting and artifacts and that's by just one additional fake frame between two real frames. I wonder how adding frames four times more than the real ones will affect ghosting especially when FSR 3 won't be depending on an AI model unlike DLSS 3 which leverages from both AI and motion vectors which will be missing in FSR 3 as a result of being limited to AMD drivers. And talking about artificial intelligence, Digitime reports that the demand for Nvidia GPUs has increased drastically since the usage of AI technologies like ChatGPT and other such AI models. Digitime says that Nvidia has seen a ramp up in orders for its A100 and H100 AI GPUs leading to an increase in wafers starts at TSMC. Unlike video games, AI models tend to rely on high performance computing graphics cards that can deliver significantly faster computing performance with better accuracy and lower power consumption. Consumption. Unlike AMD, Nvidia is currently the leading manufacturer of such GPUs like DGX A100 chip that is built on TSMC's 7 nanometer process node and features 80 GB of HBM2 memory. Similarly, the DGX H100 GPU is particularly more in demand as it uses a refined 5 nanometer process node and features significantly higher performance than the A100. The demand for AI GPUs is even higher in China where the company is selling modified versions of these GPUs to bypass the US sanctions and Nvidia is able to charge up to 37% higher prices there. It is reported that Nvidia is not able to keep up with the demand for AI GPUs but it is still trying to ramp up the GPU production as it has to fulfill the orders outside of China too. Now before we move on to the big update on the RX 7000 GPUs, we have an important story to cover which is still affecting the RTX 4090 GPUs to this date. According to the recent reports in the last 3 days, several users have been complaining that their 16 pin power connectors are melting. If you thought this problem was over, then certainly it's not the case. One user on Reddit posted a pic of his 16 pin power connector that was fully burnt after 6 to 7 months of usage. Another user posted a few pics of his 16 pin power connector that melted after 6 months. And the third user reported that the power connectors on both his GPU and cable were affected by this problem. Looks like this melting problem is rising again much quicker than before and even though Nvidia detected only 50 cases on the global scale, I won't be surprised if we found out that the number is much higher. Currently Nvidia only blames users for not fully installing the connectors but many users have reported otherwise. Let's hope that this issue gets fixed before more 4090 GPUs suffer from this problem. And with that we move on to the final report which is about AMD's RX 7600 GPU. If you remember, according to the previous leaks, it was rumored that the RX 7600 will be priced at $300. But it has now been confirmed that AMD has reduced its price to $270. 
According to video cards, the company sent them an email stating that the card will now be available for $269 US dollars beginning on May 25. At the time of making this video, the reviews were still under embargo, so I don't have any opinion on whether the RX 7600 makes a good GPU at $270 or whether it should be priced even lower. Whatever the case is, it is a welcoming decision from AMD because the RX 7600 is a budget GPU that offers specs of a sub $300 card. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below and watch this video right here where I compare the synthetic benchmarks of the RX 7600 and 4060 Ti. Lastly, hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more videos like this. Also make sure to turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.